Good morning, welcome to Kid Math number 30. Kid Math number 30. So, um, we actually were doing something a little different than our Art of Problem Solving Algebra book today. But in Art of Problem Solving Algebra, we're on the section on rationalizing denominators, right? Yes. And so we talked about that yesterday, and there's a really interesting square root, um, square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, which is called the golden ratio. Have you ever heard of this term before? No. The I've golden... heard of the golden rectangle. Yeah, exactly, exactly. The golden rectangle, this comes up, um, and it's related to a sequence, a very famous sequence of numbers that you may have seen in the Donald Duck math movie. Mm -hmm. Remember what the sequence of numbers that relates to the golden ratio is? The Fibonacci sequence. Yeah, Fibonacci sequence. Okay, so square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, called the golden ratio, comes up in a lot of interesting places. And so we're just going to look at, for fun, what happens when you flip that over. Okay, now remember when I talked about rationalizing denominators, people love numbers like this, and numbers like this, with square roots on the bottom, for some reason or other, make them go... Does this mean that it's 1 over the golden ratio? Yeah, exactly right. I just flip the golden ratio over. I put the 2 on top, square root of 5 plus 1 on the bottom. Right. So Let's see what happens when we rationalize People that. don't like this, so we've got to rationalize it. All right? Now. Square root of 5 plus 1. Right, so we do 2 over the square root of 5 plus 1, and we have to multiply by a convenient form of 1 over 1 to get rid of the square roots square on the bottom. Square root of 5 plus 1. No. Square root of 5 plus 1, square root of 5 plus 1. Ah, okay, if we multiply by square root of 5 plus 1 over square root of 5 plus 1, we're, we will get Let's see, we'll get square root of 5 times square root of 5, square root of 5 times 1, 1 times square root of 5, and 1 times 1. Is that going to get rid no. of the square root of 5? No. No. So we have to do square root of 5 minus. We're going to use our difference of squares and do square root of 5 minus 1, square root of 5 minus 1. Okay, now it does get rid of the square roots because square root of 5 times square root of 5, which is 5. Square root of 5 times minus 1, square root of 5 times plus 1, what is that up to? That just cancels each other out. Right, and then we have 1 times minus 1, which is? Minus 1. Minus 1, and 5 minus 1 is? 4. 4. So we're left with 4 on the bottom, and we're left with 2 times the square root of 5 minus 1 on the top. Do you see any simplifying you can do with this new fraction? Well, chunk, chunk, and you get the 2 on the bottom. Ah, interesting. So 1 over the golden ratio equals the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2, which is very close to this, actually, right? In, in terms of what it looks like. Square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, if I take 1 divided by this, I'm just going to call x this, 1 over x equals the square root of 5 minus 1 over 2, which is, if you look carefully, it's x minus 1, okay? If I take a 1 away from this, that I have to subtract 2 over 2, yes. and I get square root of 5 minus 2. So the golden ratio has a very interesting property that when you take 1 over it, you take its reciprocal? Yes. You just subtract 1. Hmm. How about that for being pretty cool? Cool. 1 over x equals x minus 1. Did you know that? No. <laughs> so this, this is a neat number. The golden ratio has a very special property that when you take its reciprocal, it's the same as subtracting... One. One. Okay. Good job this morning. You know, we, did a lot, we did a lot of stuff today, so I just wanted to do a fun, fun rationalizing denominator problem.